How do you guys charge for signature drinks? Also, how do you determine how many you'll need? All right, very common question is about pricing. By the way, check out mobilebarhub.com, ton of free stuff there. I'm gonna keep posting more videos, free information. But signature drinks for us, it's always part of our packages because we have a set inventory of alcohol that we bring. It's usually around eight bottles. We'll bring some wine, we'll have some beer. But signature drinks, we're usually using the one or two different types of alcohol like Tito's or some kind of tequila are the most popular ones. And then really all we have to do is bring the additional mixers. So it could be like ginger beer for Moscow Mules, or it could be strawberry lemonade for one of our popular margarita drinks. The way that we charge is we'll get the the lead on the phone and we typically lay out three packages. And I suggest everybody does this because it's just the psychology behind this. I'm not going to dive into that, but it, it works is have a good, better, best the best is rarely bought, but it's really like a price point that we put up really high where it's if you want the works, if you want customized bottles, all this stuff, it's a ridiculous price that nobody's usually going to go for. I think it's been taken up on once. And then we have that middle tier, which is really the package that we were going to offer anyways, if we were going to offer one package, it's the signature drinks, it's uh, the bar, a uh, couple beers on tap and some wine. It is booked 95% of the time with us. And the signature drinks are packaged in. It's a number that we typically have for the amount of heads and the amount of hours that we're going to be there. For example, we had a 100 head wedding or a 75 head wedding with two signature drinks. And the signature drinks were very easy. We had a lot of the stuff in the, the bar anyways. We just had to bring the additional mixers. The price was around 2700 uh, I believe. We gave a discount if they booked early within that week that we talked to them, which they did. So that's the ballpark that we were charging. And I'll lay out my pricing in another video if I haven't done that yet. How do you determine how many you'll need? So people do gravitate towards the signature drinks, especially if you do have uh, very, I, I wanna call them neutral drinks. So something that's not too ultra sweet. We usually ballpark that everybody's going to get one. So we take the head count and we assume that everybody's gonna get one of those drinks. Then we also bring enough inventory to back that up and we put it in the truck just in case they go nuts on the signature drinks. The best way to go about this is to figure out with your inventory what you can do with signature drinks that doesn't require you to bring a ton of extra stuff. Also use garnishes that you can use in a lot of other drinks. That's also a great approach, dehydrated fruit, lemons, limes, stuff that you're gonna use anyways that day. The pricing thing, it's it, a lot of people overthink this but we'll go into pricing in another video. Yeah, check out mobilebarhub.com, everybody. Like and subscribe. If you're in the mobile bar community, come join the Facebook group. It's linked below.